हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द हेलर्स क्लासेस चैनल दिस इज प्रवीण कुमार सो अप टू नाउ वी हैव बीन डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द नॉन टेक्निकल थिंग्स व्हिच आर नॉट रिलेटेड टू द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग कांसेप्ट्स सो दिस इज माय फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑन टेक्निकल रिगार्डिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू सो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी सब्जेक्ट सो बिफोर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी डायरेक्टली अबाउट द थिंग्स व्हाट व्हाट आर रिलेटेड टू कंक्रीट टेक्नोलॉजी but i am going to start with some basic things that what i am going to discuss in this subject so the first one is the introduction so in this part i am going to discuss what kind of materials are to be used on what is their brief history and those things are i am going to discuss first and then about cement and what are the manufacturing process of cement and what are the properties of cement and everything i am going to discuss so next one aggregates so the second ingredient in our concrete is aggregate either it may be fine aggregate or coarse aggregate and the explanation will cover next one water about the complete properties of water and what are the ingredients of water are be there so next one admixtures irrespective of these three materials whatever the remaining materials are been used so that is admixtures so next one about the properties of concrete either it may be a fresh concrete or hardened concrete the complete brief things about the concrete that i am going to discuss and even the test are to be conducted on concrete is also put to be covered and next one is the concrete mix design and the complete things about the concrete mixes and how that mix has been prepared and what are the different methods are been there and that is also been discussed so the next one is irrespective of the entire concrete what i have been discussed up to now there are some special cases are also been there that is about some special concrete irrespective of portland cement so there is also been discussed in this thing before briefing into the subject i am going to list out some of the textbooks that i have been referred actually there are so many books are been there to refer but i am briefing you some of the important books that you can also follow the first one is concrete technology theory and practice by m s shetty publishers are s n publishers this is one of the famous book next one is concrete technology by m l gambhir belonging to tata magra hill publishers and similarly properties of concrete by a m neville printers hall publishers concrete technology by a m neville as well as j j brooks by pearson publishers and similarly concrete its microstructure properties and materials by p kumar mehta by tata magra hill so irrespective of these textbooks you can also follow any other books which are related to concrete technology and any book you can also follow and these books you can purchase or the soft copies are also available in website and you can download and check it out so now we are entering into the topic that is the introduction so before going to briefing you the everything first of all we need to get some introduct about the topic which is what is mean by concrete in general words it is an artificial stone like material which means it is a hardened material which is formed with different kinds of materials like cement or some sort of aggregates sand or some pebbles gravel or something else and one more thing it is an existing material form or physical form or not an ab abstract which means it is not a powder form of formation it is like a hardened rock of formation so such kind of things are also we can able to we can able to say it as a concrete and welcome into the civil engineering view it is a building material made of mixture of broken stone or gravel sand cement and water which can be spreaded or poured into the molds and form of mass resembling stone on hardening so in general in our words concrete means it is a general mixture of cement fine aggregates coarse aggregate water as well as some admixtures like irrespective of these four materials so by mixing those things properly we can get some amount of concrete or concreting material by hardening it Co concrete or cement is not a recent material it has been using from thousands of years ago so the first 
thing that which has been used by the Egyptians. So the Egyptians has been used some cementing materials obtained by burning gypsum. So by burning gypsum, Egyptians have been introduced one of the cementing material. And early Greeks and Romans are also introduced some cementing materials obtaining by burning limestones. So by burning limestones, that Greeks and Romans have also been introduced some of the cementing materials to build a structure. And after that, in our concrete technology, there is a relevant terminology that we have. We are going to listen. And that is the pozzolanic material. That name has been introduced because there is a volcanic tuff has been identified near Pozzoli village of Mount Vesuvius in Italy. This volcanic tuff are mostly siliceous in nature. So it is having a much or rich amount of siliceous materials in that. So that's why that ash has been introduced with the name of pozzolanic material. And similarly it is learned that Roman added some blood, milk, a lot to the concrete to get more workability or flowability of concrete and to work it on easily without adding any amount of water in an excess amount. And now we are using a new born or newly introduced concrete that is Portland cement. And where we are calling that Portland cement means it, it, is, it, is, it has been introduced in Portland village which is there in England actually. So that's why we are calling it as Portland cement. And it is invented by Joseph Aspidane. So by introducing that Portland cement for builders to lay a brick layers even though similar producers has been adopted by other inventors also and Joseph Aspetting took the patents for that Portland cement introduction on 21st October 1824 he got the patent rights for the Portland cement preparation next later in 1845 Isaac Charles Johnson burnt a mixture of clay chalk till the clinkering stages which is forming into a rounded shape or a hardened aggregate type of formation and by powdering that clinker form we can able to get that powdered formation of cement as well as and by this he has been established a factor in 1851 the german standard specifications has been introduced at the initial stages of 1877 this is the first specification has been introduced and after that Britishers are also been introduced a specification in 1904 for the mixes and the first ASTM specification is also been introduced in 1904 for the preparation of concrete and in India Portland cement was first manufactured in the year of 1904 near Madras as well as in our South India but it has been failed because of some particular reasons. And next, in between 1912 and 1913, India Cement Corporation Limited was established at Port Bandar, which is a which is located in Gujarat. And by 1914, this, this company was delivered about thousand tons of Portland cement. During the first five-year plan, which is from 1951 to 1956, cement production in India has been raised from 2.69 million tons to 4.60 tons. So we will continue with the introduction part in the next class. Thank you.